I really like water. And there's so many different words for it. There's loch, lake, mir, clin, tarn, bay, estuary, inlet. I could go on and on. But there is one more. The beautiful, glorious Linje, Firth, Linje. And this is the Linje Chrombai, the Cromarty Firth. A firth is a narrow inlet of water. And this one separates Easter Ross over there and the Black Isle where I'm standing. The Gaelic for harbour is Culla, harbour. And Linje Chrombai is one of the deepest and most sheltered natural harbours in the UK. And since the late 20th century, it's offered shelter to these huge structures. The Crown Olle, the oil rig, Crown Olle. Now they don't actually drill for oil here, that happens way out in the North Sea. But it's so doin, deep doin, that rigs are towed here for repairs. In this firth, the two mighty giants of the sea collide. On the one hand, we have the oil rigs, and on the other, the Limiter Mara, the dolphin. Limiter Mara. This is their territory. But I'm not going to see one standing on shore. No, I brought my wetsuit. Nah, no chance. My feet won't touch the bottom. No, I'm going to take a bata, a boat bata. Sarah Pern runs tours on the Linia and knows the rigs and the dolphins. Okay, so that's so here in the Cromarty Firth, what kind of wildlife could we expect to see? Well, we're lucky here to see uh, a variety of wildlife, uh, mainly the, the most famous bottlenose dolphins as a resident colony here. There's also harbour porpoise. This is quite a good area for porpoise here, uh, sometimes harbour seal, grey seal. Uh, we've got a variety of whales as well visiting, uh, occasional visitors. Most common, probably the minke whale, but we've seen everything from humpbacks, pilot whales, uh, fin whale as well over the years. As well as the animals, you've got these big rigs here. That doesn't annoy the animals, doesn't bother them? Well, they seem to have coexisted for, for many years together. Um, and uh, certainly some of them, um, I would say, almost attract wildlife. We visit uh, this rig behind us here, the TLP, on our trips. Um, we see a variety of seabirds on it, eider ducks. We sometimes see seals hauling out on it. I've seen peregrine use it as well. So maybe slightly unusual, but they, they do have their uses. The two headlands at the entrance of the Firth are known as the Suters. Tua Agus Jess, north and south. Tua Agus Jess. And for centuries, sailors would use the Suters as a guide into the Kala. Being on a bata on the water is almost as good as being in it. The Linja Chrompa is home not only to the Crown Olle, but also to the Lemeter Mara. And they've been in the area a lot longer than these guys. Here, I've just realised I never gave you all the Gaelic words for the bodies of water. So there's cuan, moor, curl, curless, long, gloma. What? I'm not boring you, am I? 